over seven books and eight movies, Harry Potter is one of the few fictional series to have been consistently good. Bringing a ton of components from the book into the film was troublesome for the producers. However, they succeeded and figured out how to add significantly more details into the movies which were never conceivable in the books. So in this video, I will show you 29 details you probably missed in the Harry Potter movies. 1. In Harry Potter and Chamber of Secrets, a wig can be seen on the table of Professor Gilderoy Lockhart, probably suggesting that he is bald. 2. In Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets, Sherbet Lemon is the password used to enter Dumbledore's office. Albus Dumbledore was particularly fond of these muggle sweets. And in Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince, there is a bowl full of them on his desk. 3. In Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone, the sign for the Leaky Cauldron is completely black, probably to keep it a secret from the Muggles. But the sign reveals itself when two wizards, Harry and Hagrid, approached. 4. In Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone, when Harry, Ron, and Hermione enters the wizard's chest room, the remnants of Professor Quirtle's chest mask can be seen around the edge of the room, giving the audience another clue that someone had come this way recently. 5. The opal necklace, which plays an important role in Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince, can briefly be seen in the second movie inside a display case in Borgen and Buck's shop. 6. In Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone, Despite many instances of Harry being noted as a great wizard, Harry does not in fact cast a single spell during the entire first movie. 7. In Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban, Hermione can be seen taking away her time turner early on. Throughout the movie, in fact, pretty much any time someone comments on how she got there or when she isn't wearing her jumper or robe, the time turner is visible around her neck. 8. Early in Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban, Harry sees newspaper article with a photograph of Weasley family in Egypt. Though it has never again mentioned in the movie, this is a very important plot point in the book. While on an inspection of Azkaban, the Minister of Magic had a copy of that paper, gave it to Sirius Black who recognized that Peter Pettigrew was disguised as Scabbers. This is why he decided to break out of Azkaban, track down Scabbers at Hogwarts and take his revenge by killing him. 9. In the first movie, Draco Malfoy says to Ron, Don't ask yours, red hair, and a hand-me-down one. You must be a wizard. This detail is carried over visually to the second film very well. In Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets, Ron robes are older than everyone else's. The Weasley win a sizable amount of money and lottery over the summer between the second and third movie. And sure enough, his robes don't look too dingy in the third movie. 10. During the breakfast scene of the Great Hall in Harry Potter and the Order of Phoenix, Students can be seen eating parodies of real-world cereal brands with names such as Cherry Owls and Pixie Puffs, with color scheme similar to those of Cheerios and Sugar Puffs boxes, respectively. 11. In Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire, in the scene with Dumbledore, Harry and the Pensieve, there is a 3D model of what looks like hollow symbol which becomes an important symbol in Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows. 12. In Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire, when the contestants enter the arena for the third task, the bow pattern girls in the audience can be seen dancing the Macarena. 13. In Harry Potter and the Order of Phoenix, when Sirius joins Harry in the room with the black family tree, to the lower left of the door is a Starbucks logo. The siren has been stylized to be in keeping the core of the room, but she's wearing a crown and holding her fins as in the Starbucks logo. 14. 
In Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince, the smoke coming out of the love potion changes colors to that of whatever her mind is describing. The final scent that comes out of the potion is orange, as is Ron's hair. That's why Hermione lies, saying that she smells spearmint toothpaste because she obviously doesn't want to say Ron's hair out loud. 15. In Harry Potter and the Order of Phoenix, the actors who play Fred and George in the franchise makes a cameo appearance in the picture of the original Order of the Phoenix as their deceased uncles, Fabian and Gideon, prove it. 16. In Harry Potter and the Deadly Hallows, Part 2, Professor Snape still helps the Order when he redirects McGonagall's spell to knock out his fellow Death Eaters. He also takes their wands before he flies out the window to make sure they could no longer harm any students. In the books, there are no Death Eaters around him, so it was a nice touch to add this detail in the movie. 17. Arthur Bowen, the child actor that plays Harry's son, Albus Severus Potter, and the epilogue of the final movie can be seen in Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince buying roasted chestnuts at a stand at Diagon Alley. 18. In Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince, Dumbledore reaches for a Tom Riddle memory, dated 1938. He tells Harry that this was the first time he met Tom. But to the left, there is a memory labeled Tom Riddle that is dated 1937. It is most likely someone else's memory relating to Riddle terrorizing two children in a cave, which is described in detail in the book. 19. In Harry Potter and the Deathly Hollow, Part 2, when all the professors leaves the castle to cast their defensive shield, Professor Slughorn can be seen drinking a bottle of what looks like liquid luck. 20. In Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets, when Hagrid charges into Dumbledore's office to defend Harry, he has seen carrying a dead rooster in his hand. In the extended cut of the movie, Hagrid mentions that someone is killing the school roosters. In the Harry Potter, Lord the sound of a rooster is fatal to a basilisk. That's why Ginny killed them under Tom Riddle's control. It was also the rooster's blood that was used to write on the walls. 21. In Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone, when Neville gets a remember-all, he says he doesn't know what he has forgotten. If you look closely, he is the only student on the table who was in a sweater and has most likely forgotten his robes. 22. In Harry Potter and the Deathly Hollow Part 2, Lucius Malfoy's Azkaban prisoner number tattoo can be seen on his neck for a brief moment. After Order of the Phoenix, he and the other Death Eaters were arrested after they were caught in the Ministry. 23. In Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban, a wizard played by Ian Brown from the band at the Stone Roses is seen reading a book, A Brief History of Time by Stephen Hawking, in the Leaky Cauldron, foreshadowing time travel that takes place later in the movie. 24. In Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban, the producer places an Easter egg in the Marauder's map. When the map is open for the first time, the name Newt Scamander can be seen. Scamander wrote the book Fantastic Beast and Where to Find Them that is mandatory reading at Hogwarts, but he isn't a teacher there, so he may have been simply visiting. 25. In Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets, Lucius Malfoy attempts to cast Avada Kedavra on Harry after being tricked into freeing Dobby. It wasn't explained in the movies at that point that this spell instantly kills a person. So Lucius was literally about to murder Harry in the middle of Hogwarts. 26. In Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire, scenes featuring Elves Dobby and Winky were cut due to time constraints. However, if you watch carefully, in the first campsite scene, right after Ginny points to something and say, look, you can see two house elves riding on a llamas. 27. In Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince, 
While Professor Slughorn is disguised as an armchair, you can visibly see his feet. 28. At the beginning of Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets, Lucius Malfoy takes a book out of Ginny's cauldron, but when he puts it back, you can see that he puts Tom Riddle's diary in her cauldron as well. There is even a brief confusion on Harry's face, but he doesn't quite understand why. This detail is explained at the end of the movie, but people usually miss it at the beginning. 29. When Dumbledore visits a young Tom Riddle in Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince, there is a picture of a cave where Tom hid one of his Horcruxes. There is also a brief close-up that shows seven rocks meticulously organized on Tom's window, foreshadowing Voldemort's plan to split his soul into seven Horcruxes.